Hey guys, I also wanted to come back and talk to you about wig cap colors. So do you know what color you are? So I'm just gonna show you the different color caps that they can come in. So this is black. Not too many people wear black unless it's like a full unit where they're not showing any type of lace. Then there's like a dark brown. Then there's like a caramel. And then there's like a tan. And then there's like a transparent, well nude and then transparent. So we carry all different color laces. And if not, we can also if not, we can tint the lace for you to match your skin tone. So I just wanted to come and show you that color does matter when it comes to wearing a unit or a full lace unit because it will show underneath your cap if you do not wear the right color. So say for instance, like me, normally I wear like a caramel color because I don't want it to be too, too dark where I have to actually add powder to make the scalp look a little bit lighter. So I normally stick with a caramel. That's like right in between. Um, black, not too many people wear too much black, but I mean, if you're just throwing on a unit and you know, you don't need to part it, black is good for that. But yes, we carry all different colors. So I'm also going to talk to you about my ventilator caps and mesh dome caps that I normally use. Depending on the client's preference, so I'm just going to show you the different ones and they do come in different colors as well. So first we're just going to start with the traditional, the traditional dome cap. So this is a traditional, what is that? It's like a little mark, but it's a traditional dome cap, but it is mesh. So you can get to your scalp. And then we have a ventilated dome cap. Pretty cool, huh? So this is a your dome cap. Now it doesn't have any adjustable, it doesn't have an adjustable band on the inside, like the one that I'm gonna show you next, but this is a ventilated dome cap. It fits very, very snug. So these two are the same, almost the same. Just that this one you can get to your scalp once I remove that plastic and this one it just fits very snug over your hair, keeps your hair um, pretty neat underneath. And this one also, but sometimes the hair can get caught just a little bit because it's just like right in the back, but on the sides it's covered. So these two are great. I use them myself for some of my units and I love them. So these are the other three. So there is blonde of course for our platinum hair or blonde hair units that I make ventilated of course the plastic is there but it is removed once I add the hair to it and finish the whole unit on my sewing machine and then of course we have black for all of our natural colors and they all come with the adjustable band on the inside and then we have brown for our lighter brown hair color. So yeah, so this is the ventilated cap. Actually, I'll turn it inside out so you can see it better. And there is one more that I wanna show you, which my sides are covered, but I'll show you one minute. Uh, so those are bones. I know I got like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> but this was the one that was missing. So this is also a ventilated cap. I use this one a lot because it's not too much, which I'll compare it. It's not, as you can see, the sides. This one right here, your, you can feel your scalp pretty good. It's ventilated. This one, it has like a little mesh, but it also still keeps your hair protected, which I love this one because it's not, your hair underneath is not out too much. Turn this one on the inside. Yeah, so this is a better view. So you can see this one has more plastic. So where the plastic is at, that's where you can actually feel your hair more, your own natural hair underneath. But with this one, you can feel it, but it still kind of protects your hair on the side. And they both have everything else the same. Like they both come with um, adjustable bands on the inside. And then I also add my own adjustable band or removable band on the inside for a snug fit. That's actually what I have on in this unit. Literally, that's the only thing like that I like to wear. I don't even wear my combs in the front at all because once I have my wig grip on, my band and my comb at the nape of my neck, I am good. I am good for the day. 
Um, I'm a wig wearer, so I know if my wig is shifting or not. <laughs> so yeah, so these are the caps, including the wig caps underneath. So there you have it. This is my tutorial of colored wig caps. <laughs> and if you aren't following me, you can subscribe now. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video or you felt like it was helpful. And, and if you are looking to get a custom unit made or if you're just looking just to get like a traditional lace unit, frontal unit, closure unit, you can also email at me at codebluehair at gmail.com. So C-O-D-E blue without the E at gmail.com. And we can get started. Yay. Tune for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.